The Israeli vehicles and troops keep patrolling the area near the Jenin refugee camp as well as the Jenin city. And Palestinians have t been telling us that the destruction is continuing not just to the roads but also to the homes inside the camp. Many people have been lacking a lot of medicine and food and they've been trying to see where the Israeli vehicles are to try and avoid them and go to search for some food and some medicine. We are inside the emergency room of one of the medical centers close to the Jenin refugee camp and even here people cannot be safe. They are telling us that they're keeping the curtains closed because in a previous raid an Israeli bullet made its way from the window over here to the door of the elevator miraculously not injuring anyone. But you can imagine the state of stress and anxiety that the medical teams are operating under. It's very stressful. Even opening the curtains and seeing them scares me. I know that there are snipers everywhere and the windows overlook the street they're patrolling. They don't care. If they want to shoot towards us, they will. And they won't care that they're around a hospital. The municipality officials were talking about damages that will cost $13 million to fix just two days ago. But since then, more Israeli destruction has been caused and the municipality is saying it cannot reassess the damage and the losses that have been incurred since then. It's still a continued operation where Palestinians say the destruction is one main part of it, calling it collective punishment. Nida Ibrahim Al Jazeera, the Occupied West Bank, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.